What's up everyone? Out riding on Black Oak today out in the seventh heaven area. It's a really cold day out here and we got a bunch of snow over the last few days and it's actually one of the first days that Alpine has been open. So really excited to be up here. The snow is actually pretty light and dry which is nice. We got one of my favorite tree zones out here right behind me and we do have to enter a little bit lower today just because the coverage up high is still a little bit spotty. There's some rocks poking through but I'm feeling optimistic to find some powder down below. So about to meet up with Kevin, try to traverse in there and hopefully find some good snow. And I'm also on the K2 party platter today. So it should be fun checking this board out as well. with Kevin today in the full yellow kit. Yeah. How are the trees out here, man? The trees are amazing. I feel like this is the first tree day where it's like filled in to where you're not running over any stumps or rocks. And then on top of that, we've got another 20 or 30 centimeters of fresh snow. So it feels really good just to be like flying through here, floating on top of the powder and not worrying about what's underneath. So it's amazing. And this area too is, is fun. We just have to make sure that we don't ride it too far and go out of bounds. But I think down below we'll be traversing back to seventh. But overall, this is, this is the best. Yeah. Lab two, what can we expect, man? Yeah, man, I think we got a much better idea right now of the coverage and the terrain down here. So I feel like uh, we're gonna be able to get a little bit further out. So hopefully get some even better powder for you. And we missed a really nice tree run on the in run last time. So hopefully we can try to find that as well. But uh, yeah, any, anything standing out for you, dude? I think like the first lap, we were just eyeing up all the tracks and all the potential. And so the first lap was kind of a tester, dipping our toe in, and then this one, this one's gonna be the goods. Oh yeah. <laughs> dude so you're gonna want to follow my path in and then as soon as you get to where i'm at cut to the right like two o'clock you're gonna see a bump and you just you can go as big as you want bigger the better <laughs> Is it? How many more times can we do that? Look, dude. 
I made it back up for our third lap to this zone. The snow is incredible today. It is so much deeper and lighter than I expected. And before we drop for this lap, I'll give you a quick update on how the party platter is. So I am actually riding the 147 today. I downsized on it to try to take advantage of that. The maneuverability is awesome, but for this deep snow, I do kind of wish I had a bit of a bigger size. So a little bit of a compromise there. And they also changed the board to camber this year. So it's pretty much full positive camber, slight rocker in the nose and tail, which is helping in the pow a bit, but really coming through with that stability through the variable conditions up top and working out for the drops and stuff in here. Really fun board, not ideal for super deep powder, but having fun on it so far. The zone we have just below us is where Kevin found that pillow drop last time. So hopefully we find some goods like that right now. We kind of just came in above where we traversed from last yeah. time. So I think where we dropped before is like... Yeah, the snow is insane today. This is by far our best day of the season here in Whistler. Woo! So far. So far. Great laps out there, man. How was the day for you? Yeah, that was amazing. I feel like we found those good tree lines. We found the good snow, some really good pillows and all the snow has accumulated so much that you can really ride aggressively through the trees. And now we're just on our ride out, out of Seventh Heaven. This long cat track is probably eight or 10 kilometers back to the village, but overall a great day. I can tell that it was a good day because I'm exhausted. I'm pretty tired and starving. Same. <laughs> Let's get some food. Sick. getting pretty close to the bottom now. And before I wrap it up, I wanna share a few more thoughts on the party platter with you guys. So like I said, I'm out here riding the 147 today, and I feel like flex-wise, it's just on the softer side of medium, pretty close to a mid flex. So that's helping give the board a nice versatile feel. It does have some good stability to it. And it's also a volume shifted board. So it's naturally wider. The 147 has about a 26 centimeter waist width. So I was feeling that out on the cat track, definitely makes the board a bit more fun for carving, allowing you to tilt it on edge a bit more without worrying about toe or heel drag. And it also gives you a bit more surface area to help float in the powder, which I think if powder was a big focus, I'd size up on the party platter. They recommend sizing down five to seven CM. So I pretty much went about seven down from what I'd normally ride. But I did have a lot of fun out here on this board today. Definitely gonna be riding it again. If you wanna check it out, I'll have it linked down in the description. Also make sure you're subscribed for when the full proper board review comes out. Go subscribe to Kevin's channel as well. I'm gonna have those links pop up. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. And we'll see you in a new video soon. We're gonna go grab some food.